Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. So uh, damn good show. So Kid Rock, he's on the Joe Rogan show, and they was drinking Bud Light, and they was being all uh, they was being gay. <laughs> oh, they was just drinking Why Bud Light. I, I don't, I don't understand the whole. How did you? Why would you drink Bud Light? Did you forget what they did? Well, he said he's over it now. And he said it's childish for you to uh No I'm not. I'm not childish. Yeah. You just you don't you don't lay in bed with the devil, man. <laughs> the devil and showed his horns. He pulled out his pitchfork. <laughs> his, his pitchfork. His pitchfork. He showed you what he's about, right? And you said, Okay, devil, it's okay, it's fine. That's what you did. All right, so you don't lay in bed with the devil. Yeah. You don't lay down with dogs, you get fleas. Right? You don't lay down, down with dogs. <laughs> hey, so they was talking about Israel and the Hamas conflict. And um, Kid Rock sounds like a damn terrorist. <laughs> he did? He did? He sounds like a damn terrorist. Well, it's probably that damn Bud Light talking. He was drinking that damn cranny piss, money. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but uh, this is what he had to say on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan shut him down. Joe Rogan's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the wars we won were fucking ones we were the most brutal motherfuckers on the planet. Which I don't yeah. disagree with what Israel's doing. It's like they should just go in there and be like, you know what? We want our hostages back. If we don't have them back, clock starts now and in 24 hours, we're going to start bombing motherfuckers and killing fucking civilians 30, 40,000 a time. So you civilians better pack up and Get these fucking mother and tell you, you go against Hamas. You fucking go against them. We're not playing fucking games with you. But that's yeah, the, the only thing people understand. This is what happened armed. in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. <laughs> Boom. It's wiped out. They're like, oh, yes, we don't have Supreme Leader anymore. We did not know you had such big bombs. Yeah, but everybody <laughs> has big bombs now. The problem is you use a big bomb. You set a precedent that they can use a big bomb. Yeah, but if you think about you're a kid and you don't know why there's a conflict between Palestine and Israel it's and you're living war. in Palestine and then they start bombing it's and then war. they kill your mom. It's yeah, but you didn't do war. but right, but you didn't do anything. No, I'm sorry, man. This is fucking war. It's terrible. It's the worst thing on earth. I'm a peaceful man. <laughs> right, but you're not supposed to pick civilian targets. That's actually a you war You can't fight war like that. When but you're not supposed to pick civilian, civilian targets. They're hiding in civilian targets. They are. So that's where, like, the they're Mossad in has been able to they get into hospitals. They got trenches fucking underneath. They got operation yeah. centers. They, they, they killed those good And all we can do is go day. by the reporting, like, you know, I get it. But mm -hmm. at, at some point, you got to believe something, right? No, I definitely do. They definitely <laughs> seem to be doing that. Like that. <laughs> but also, if you're a person who's born in Palestine, you're... You're under their control. It's not yeah. your fault. And By we, birth. Yeah, but that those aren't our enemy. So you got the same mindset as those freaking psychopaths who flew the plane into uh, the Twin Towers on our level. You got the same mindset. That's what they were thinking. Yeah. Because you know America, you see what they do to President Trump. Can you imagine what these people are doing to other countries? That's why they flew those planes in. It's not because... They're just horrible people. It's because yeah, it's USA has done horrible things to them, and that's how they retaliated. Yeah. So you have the same mindset as them. Yeah. Like that uh, U.S. dollar, man, that is oppresses a lot of countries. I mean, uh, the we U.S. Do, dollar? Yeah. I mean, we do a lot of negative stuff around the world. A lot of negative stuff. Yeah, like well, Obama, like um, when he was in office, he was like um, uh, African countries, just like, no, you can't get married. It was like... They was trying to, like, no, you're not bringing all this gay stuff over here. <laughs> right? And President Obama, he was like, we're going to put sanctions on your country. Yeah. That, if you don't start letting people get, gay people get married and this and that. Yeah. U.S. dollar oppresses a lot of countries. Either do what I say or we're going to sanction you. Yeah. That's what it boils down to. Yeah, but uh, that that's crazy. I mean, I understand they use people as human shields, but you said you just start bombing, killing 30,000 by the day. Yeah. That's not the more bombs and more killing. That's not the answer. You need to find out a common solution. Why are these people so upset with each hey, other? Hey, you can't fix that. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. You cannot fix that. Uh, well, how are you going to fix it? I'll tell you how you fix it. Now, the Palestinians, the original Palestinians that was displaced from the um, European occupation of the European Jews, <laughs> this is what we do. We take all the European Jews, kick them out of Israel, 
Give it back to Palestinians. All the European Jews, uh, we sent them to Alabama and call it Israel. And then we, we put the original Palestine and that ancestor called it Palestine. Palestine. Well, that was Paul Jews. Saul. Alabama becomes Israel. <laughs> Home of the Jews. Jew land. But, see, Jews ain't going for that. That's holy land. They want that land. Alabama's holy land. <laughs> Alabama's God country. <laughs> you see how pretty Alabama is. Yeah, them Jews ain't going for that. You see what they do? Well, I think that's how they fix it. They would fix it. They ain't going for that. <laughs> like I said, they created a problem. Yeah. The Brit, the British, when they, uh, yeah, United States, Europe, when they established that Palestine was going to be called Israel and it was going to be land of the Jews. Yeah. That once you did that, you it's you can't fix that. Just this case. war can, war's not going to fix it. Yeah, not this. This has been going on for like what seventy years, and you think yeah. this is a political problem? War cannot fix this problem. Yes, yeah, it only makes it worse. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, like, yeah. eventually, what's going on in Israel? Uh-huh. They ain't gonna be climate change. It's gonna be what's going on in Israel. That's what's gonna kill everybody. You know what scares me to death? Especially if Kid Rock become president. <laughs> I'm glad he's not my president. Hey, um, you know what scares me the most? Israel's got nukes. Yeah, gave Jews some nukes. That's, that's a great idea. That's like giving Zelensky nukes. You just asking for it. That's like giving. Only a, people that that's like giving Iran nukes. Yeah. Look what, like, um, Kid Rock brought up an interesting historical fact about what we did to uh, Hiroshima and all that. Yeah. Yeah. We did that. That's a war crime. What we did. <laughs> Kid, but what Israel's doing to the people in um, West Bank, Gaza, I see that's war crime because you're. Yeah. Well, they say over 30,000 um, yeah. Palestinians have died since yeah. the conflict started. You just can't call that war. That's not war. That's a war crime. And and we're not immune from that, and Israel's not immune for it, but everybody likes to... I'm, f- I'm fighting a losing battle. But that's how you fix the thing that's going on in Israel. Either send them to Alabama There's, or send them to Alaska. You send them to Alaska. That's God's country, too. Uh, you can send them to Sweden. There's a bunch of white people up there. Yeah, if it ain't good in Sweden. Yeah, I don't know why y'all went to a... I, I still don't understand. I say this all the time. Why don't you take a bunch of white European Jews and stick them in sand country <laughs> where there's no other white people and you're surrounded? That, that was such a bad idea. Y'all got a dome over Israel because all the sand people was trying to kill y'all. <laughs> Whose idea was that? White and y'all... People. You know whose idea was? White people. <laughs> <laughs> y'all should have sat down with some brown people. You know, like, I'm not denying that Jews lived in that area, but it was a mix of Jews, Arabs. It was all types of people. Yeah. It wasn't just Jewish. But now that land belongs nothing but to the Jews. That's why it's a conflict. There. Let me say this. And the, the Jewish people there in Israel, formerly known as Palestine, they're getting billions of dollars in aid. The original Palestinians never got that aid. They got displaced and kicked out. Well, um, Kid Rock made a point. He said, y'all need to start fighting Hamas. Yeah, the, to the pal- uh, the people. The shut up. Let me finish. Right. Look at all the billions of dollars USA gives um, Israel. They have not been able to demolish and get rid of Hamas. But you want the Palestinian people with no financial aid from anybody, with no army, to destroy Hamas? Yeah. I, what I just needs to stop drinking <laughs> that trainee piss. Hey, they getting billions of dollars in aid. Why don't they share some of that money? Don't some of that money supposed to be going to the Palestinians? No, uh, it's getting shared equally. I don't. I don't believe that shit. I'm just. I'm just repeating what conservatives say. <laughs> it's a damn good show. Damn good show. Damn good show. Hey, got a new giveaway going. We pissed off a lot of Jews. We pissed off a lot of conservatives. I like- you know these damn conservatives. They're a bunch of Jew lovers. <laughs> no, I'm like. I don't subscribe to any one uh, yeah. line of thought. If I if I subscribe to one line of thought, I would be a Democrat. Yeah, what I'm saying is this: I'm trying to protect another group of Semitic people. Jewish people, are not, they act, they think that the term Semitic only belongs to them. It belongs to everybody in the Middle East. Palestinians are also Semitic people. So when I mm. speak down to what Israel's doing, it doesn't make me anti-Semitic because I'm just trying to protect one Semitic group of people from another Semitic. Oh, uh, you of people. forget it. Um, you see, you are anti-Semitic. How? Because what conservatives, no, conservatives, no, conservatives is right on it. The only Semitic people is the Jews. <laughs> and you know that? You're supposed to be conservative. I am conservative. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that. 
Hey, got a new giveaway going. Giving away a Ford F-250 and 10000 in cash to enter the win. Go to OfficialHawksTwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, you got to automatically enter the win. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Why not? I don't care. They're a bunch of Jew lovers. <laughs>